once I have the water boiling on the stove, I just like to chuck that colander on top with a lid just to keep them steaming. I normally steam these for about 10 to 15 minutes. I definitely over steamed these this day as I have two little ones running around and I got sidetracked, which happens a lot, but they were fine. But they definitely only need about 10, maybe 10 to 15 minutes usually because the blender will blend it down anyway to a good consistency. So for this next recipe, I'm going to be making some homemade hummus. So you're going to need a blender. You're going to need about half a cup of tahini, two tablespoons of garlic, half a cup of lemon juice, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of water, a quarter teaspoon, I think it's half teaspoon, sorry, of cumin, and two tins of chickpeas, of course, which is the main ingredient. Now, I will admit this actually works out a little more expensive to make than to just buy hummus from the store if you don't make it that often. Like if you're just going to make it once, the tahini is quite expensive for the one jar. If you're only going to be making it once, you're not going to be using the whole jar. So if this is something that you really like hummus, like during the week to put on toast and you know veggie sticks or anything else you like to put hummus on, chicken, things like that, then definitely making it at home is a much better option because you can stop putting the salt in that the store-bought ones have in it and any other additives that they have, you can avoid by making it at home. But yes, just bear in mind that it is that bit more expensive if you're just doing this as a once-off. So with this one, you just go ahead and start by adding your lemon juice and tahini and give that a blend for about 30 seconds. And then you add in your oil, garlic and cumin. Blend that up a little bit before adding the chickpeas and the water. This is such an easy recipe to make. It takes less than five minutes and it's so good to have in the fridge. I like to prep up some carrot sticks to have with it. I'm the only one that has the raw carrot sticks with this hummus, but my kids and my partner like to have it on biscuits and toast and things like that so it is great but if you make too much which we actually did this week I didn't get around to eating all of it that I did make you can freeze hummus so be sure to grab some little dip containers that are freezable that you can put in the freezer and they are just so easy to pull out when you do want to snack one day so I've just prepped these carrot sticks as well as I said to dip in the hummus Carrot sticks are one thing that I really don't like to waste. So I love prepping them and they are so good for snacks. But if I do not get through them and they start to get a little bit dry throughout the week, then I love just chucking them on an oven tray, putting a little bit of olive oil over them and some roast vegetable seasoning, just like here. I just insert a little video there. And they are so good for a side on any meal that you make for dinner. And it's just really stops you from wasting those carrot sticks if you don't get through them during the week. So next up, another staple that I like to meal prep during the week is hard-boiled eggs. Now, they are so versatile. I like to make some egg salad sometimes to put on sandwiches or some curried eggs or deviled eggs for my partner. He absolutely loves those. Or they are also good to add on top of green salads or just to eat them as is with a bit of salt and pepper or on toast in the mornings with some avocado. They are just, as I said, so versatile and so great. Such a healthy snack to have on hand in the fridge. Drop top, non-stop, making our way to the nearest city. Race off the tracks, cruising the coast of the West Pacific. Just go away, leave this town for the interstate. With my somebody who found my side I cannot wait to break all my rules Oh, we'll keep it going on into the night We're chasing clouds until we find our light Then we won't ever let it go We're holding on to our souls So 
so next I'm just meal prepping the chicken for the chicken and cheese quesadillas that we are having for dinner this night. Now, if you're a regular to my channel, you know that I absolutely hate touching raw chicken. So I will normally buy my chicken already pre-diced if it calls for diced chicken in a recipe. But in this case, um, I just needed to shred my chicken. So I'm just going ahead and using the whole chicken breast and covering that with water and some of my favorite seasonings. And I'm just going to boil that until it is completely cooked and once that is done i'm just going to take it over chop it up and blend that down now i normally use a different hand mixer to blend this chicken because it just works out a lot better but because my baby's eating this as well i like to use the stick blender because it just makes it that much finer and easier for her to eat i always make sure to chop the chicken first to make sure it is fully cooked because I'm always so paranoid about chicken when it comes to cooking it. So I'm just going ahead and blending that up and then I'm going to be adding a whole tub of salsa. Now I called for about half a tub of salsa but it just didn't work out with how big these chicken breasts were so I put the whole tub in in the end and this was so delicious. I'm going to show you how I cooked that this night so it's a bit of a what's for dinner as well mixed in here so I hope you enjoy that too. That told me I had to be within the lines of two degrees and nine to five And I've been working after work since last September working after work, yeah. I say a plate on the weekdays I never tell when we say oh. I never want to look back And wish I could have been Now, I'll just quickly say grated cheese is one thing that I am so guilty of buying sometimes from the store already grated, but you will not regret if you go to block cheese and grate it yourself at home. It's so easy to store in little Ziploc bags in the fridge or in the freezer if you make up heaps and it is just so much fresher and easier to eat. It is just so worth the extra time and effort. Take a chance, take a chance on faith. So it is the next day and I'm just going ahead and starting off by chopping up all of these lemons just to get them into the freezer so I can easily grab them and chuck them in some warm water when I feel like a lemon water during the day. Take a chance on faith. Chance on faith. Also, it's always a good idea to try to get as many of those seeds out of the lemons as possible before freezing them just to stop them from getting into your drink when they defrost. But also, I just want to say these do stick together a little bit in the sandwich bag if you put them straight in that and into the freezer. So feel free to flash freeze these first on a baking tray or something like that before putting them into a sandwich bag just so that they don't stick together and they're a lot easier to get out and put in your drink in the mornings. Now, the next thing we are going to be prepping is smoothie bags. These are one of my absolute favorite things to prep. So I'm just adding bananas, spinach, and strawberries into these ones. I'm first gonna go ahead and wash those off in the sink to make sure that they're nice and clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and chop those up and start preparing my smoothie bag. Now, this combo of strawberries, bananas, and spinach is my absolute favorite. I've tried other variations of smoothie bags and I always go back to this one. It just works so well together. It's healthy and my kids like it. And 
and it's just a win-win all round. So I always add vanilla almond milk to these smoothies and I also add about a quarter of a cup of rolled oats. Now the rolled oats are an absolute must. If you were to make this smoothie just with the vanilla almond milk and these smoothie bags, it comes out a little bit I'm not very good with descriptive words for food, but um, maybe sour or like just like, I don't know, too sweet, but not in a good way. I don't know. But if you add the oatmeal, it just makes, it just completely changes the flavor and just gets rid of that sort of taste that isn't so favorable. Now, one thing I will mention is that these smoothie bags definitely need to be prepped ahead of time and put in the freezer because it just will not taste the same if you use fresh spinach, strawberries and bananas. It just won't come out as cold or as creamy and it just, yeah, just trust me on that one. It works so much better if you have these prepped in the freezer and ready to go. So the last thing that I'm going to be meal prepping in this video is this lemon herb chicken. Now this is such an easy recipe to make if you want to be a little bit fancy or something if you're having visitors over. It is so quick and easy. You just need to add some olive oil onto the chicken breast and then add on your favorite seasonings. So I'm just adding on this all-purpose seasoning and also some mixed herbs. And then I'm going to make sure that I coat both sides really evenly before adding a bunch of lemon slices that I'd cut up earlier onto the top of that. And I'm just going to put that in the oven for about 35 minutes roughly and that will cook it absolutely perfect. And I'm also going to be showing you what I paired that with for dinner. So it's kind of another what's for dinner snuck into this video here. So if you like these kinds of videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you do not miss any of my future uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope you're having such a fantastic week and I will see you all in the next one.